In this video, I'm going to show you this really awesome color changing text animation inside of Adobe Premiere Pro 2024. This video is sponsored by Motion Elements. So let's get into it. So step one of creating this text animation is to create some text. So let's go to the T icon, select your video and type out a word or phrase of your choice. Then we'll go into the effect controls window, go into your graphics and we can change the font. I go for monster at bold. I center this up. You can change the size and the weight of this completely your call what you do here. But once you're happy with the look of that, you just want to place that in the middle of your frame. And this is step one complete. Now, the next step is to go ahead and create the bar, which is going to pop up and slide across. So to do that, we are just going to go a few frames in. Then we we'll go project new item black video press OK, drag that on to video layer two, and then we're going to go into the effect controls tab, go to motion, select uniform scale. So we're unselecting it and we'll change the width to one and we'll change the height to let's go 20 for now. And as you can see, my text is a little bit off the center. So I'm just going to pull that down a pinch. And then from there, I can just go into effects, search for tint T I N T drop that on to the black video and we are going to select map black to select the black box and change this to a color of your choice. So I'm going to go for a nice soft blue. And again, feel free to make any corrections to the positioning of your text if it's not quite in the center. Great. Now in the black video, we're just going to slide the position of this over to the left. We'll create a brand new keyframe on the scale width or the scale height, depending if you want to animate out or up. I'm going to go up actually, so I'm going to go for the height. Then I'm going to go three frames to the left. I'm going to pull that up to 24. Then I'm going to go another two or three frames to the left and pull that to zero. So it bounces in. If that's too quick, then you can always just increase the gap between those keyframes. There's nothing wrong with making adjustments after the fact. And I'm going to convert the look of this last keyframe to an ease in. So I'm going to right click and select ease in. There you go. So it just softens off the end of that. Then we're just going to hold for a second and create a brand new keyframe on position. We're going to right click temporal and ease out of this. Then we'll play the video for a second or two and move the position all the way over to the right. And we'll convert that keyframe to an ease in. So when we play this back, you can see this is what we have. Then we'll hold again and new keyframe on the scale height. And then we'll go maybe three or four to the right and pull that down to zero. So when we play this back now, this is what we have. So it pops in, slides across and then disappears. So now this is where we need to go ahead and do the color changing effect. So this is the first part of the effect done. The next step is to do the color changing text effect. Before we carry on with this video, let me please first just tell you about Motion Elements. Motion Elements are an amazing online platform for stock video, Adobe Premiere and After Effects templates, Notion templates, and so much more. And the great thing is I have teamed up with Motion Elements. They are the channel sponsor. And because of that, they are going to give you a really great discount on your first month of your subscription with them. So use the code in the description below to get yourself some big savings. So if you want to save time and create better videos, then consider checking out Motion Elements. Now, back to the video. Now to change the color, we're just going to move the black video onto video layer three. We'll go into the project tab, go new item, new adjustment layer, press OK, and drag that onto video layer two. Now on the adjustment layer, we're going to go into effects, search for tint and drag tint onto the adjustment layer. And we're going to put map white two, and we're going to select the blue from that line. So now everything has turned blue. But of course we want to transition this across. So in order to do that, we're going to go to the start point of the line movement, which is here. And then we're just going to draw a mask around this text. So I'm just going to draw a rectangle like this, and I'm just going to move this over to the left. So we start off white and I'm going to create a brand new keyframe on the mask path. Then I'm going to go through to the very last point where that line has finished, which is there. And I'm just going to move that mask over to the right just to follow that line. And as you can see, if we right click these, you can't control these. You can't change these to ease in or ease out. 
So this means you want to go through frame by frame and make sure that this mask is always following the line. So as you can see, it's already drifted out. So you just want to pull that back and then you just want to go frame by frame and make sure that this mask is always perfectly following that line. This may take a little bit of time, but it's not going to be too time consuming and it's definitely worth it. And there we go. When we play this back from the very beginning, you can see we've got this popping in, slides across, changes color and then disappears again. So that is the text effect now complete. Of course, the next thing that you can do on this effect is to highlight everything right click nest and now you've popped this in its own nested sequence which means you can control everything at the same time so if you wanted to you could scale this down create a brand new keyframe on the scale go towards the end increase this to just over 100 and then when you play this back you've got the effect that we've created but there's also a nice scale in effect so that could work really well but that is now this effect now complete so thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.